paracetamol metabolism. This is important in understanding paracetamol toxicity, which is very topical in the exams. Paracetamol as a parent drug in itself does not cause toxicity. If you look at this diagram, you will see that paracetamol is broken down by cytochrome P450 into N-acetyl-P-benzylquinine-emine. This, sometimes abbreviated as NAPQ, is the toxin. If it accumulates, it will bind to cellular proteins and cause hepatic and renal injury. However, the body naturally clears this toxin using glutathione. Glutathione conjugates and inactivates it into paracetamol glutathione conjugates. These are safely excreted. Paracetamol normogram. If you look at this diagram, it shows the paracetamol normogram, which aids the first 24 hours of therapy. When a patient presents, drug levels are taken at four hours after time of ingestion. Any earlier is not useful. As long as the drug level is above this cutoff line, a patient must be commenced on N-acetylcysteine. Remember that this curve is only useful up to 24 hours. Patients presenting after 24 hours cannot use the normogram. Patients having a staggered overdose cannot use a normogram to interpret. Remember that patients who are at high risk are those who are on enzyme inducers, such as carbamazepine, rifampicin, phenytoin, as this induces enzymes to break down paracetamol into the toxic metabolite. Also, those patients with low stores of glutathione, such as malnutrition and HIV. These are more likely to require N-acetylcysteine and will shift this curve to the left, in essence. Although you should be aware that in the past, that left shift was the high-risk line. Other useful tips for the exams and paracetamol metabolism, remembering that NAPQI binds to proteins and lipids of the hepatocytes and causes problems. Remember that paracetamol is conjugated to glucuronic acid. Remember, it's the prothrombin time, or the INR, not the bleeding time that we use to monitor paracetamol toxicity. Remember that IV parvalex, or N-acetylcysteine, or oral methionine are given as antidotes. Remember that hypoglycemia is a late feature of paracetamol toxicity. Finally, whom to refer for liver transplant? There is the King's College criteria, and this includes acidosis less than pH of 7.3, prolonged INR greater than 6.5, renal failure with a creatinine greater than 300, or grade 3 or 4 encephalopathy, or a raised lactate greater than 3.5, or a raised phosphate greater than 1.2.